Maybe you deserve to be poor. What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I didn't mean it like that. I promise you I didn't mean it like that. It was just the first thing that came to my head. And let me tell you why I broke it down like that. It's because most people, when given a choice, are not going to do the thing that's in their best interest, right? We have a phenomenal opportunity every single day to make the decision to be the best version of ourselves on a regular basis. And we choose not to be. If you look at how much is in people's retirement account, the average retirement account has $65,000 in it, which means that we'd rather spend money on the things that don't matter in order to impress people that don't even care about us than invest in our future or invest in our kids. And let's take the whole retirement account thing out of it, right? Let's just talk about everyday purchases and expenses because of course people are gonna say, well, it's the government fault or well, it's inflation or well, it's this or well, it's that. Every single decision that we've made since we've been in high school, because I believe that at the high school age, you are of sound mind and body to really, really be able to determine the course of your life, right? Ever since you were high school age, you had the, the, the ability to really make the decision that's going to you know, determine what your future is going to be. Every single day, you make the decision, right? Whether or not you're going to say, whether or not you're going to go to class every day, whether or not you're going to pick a degree or a field that allows for you to actually be able to level up and take care of your family and enable the people that come after you and do things that is actually beneficial for society instead of the thing that's only uh, fulfilling some need at that particular time. The women that you talk to, right? The the decision to wear a condom or not every day when you decide to bust down these chicks, whether or not you want to have big discipline at all. We've seen what happened in Ime, with, with Ime Udoka, right? Um, you know, whether or not you want to buy that car, but instead you decided that you know, some people decided, yo, I'd rather rock a used car for the first five years or for the first 10 years and stay down and then be able to live my life the way I want to for the rest of my life, right? All the decisions that you make every single day is going to determine the course of your future. And that's why I don't believe in running in the Victim Olympics. I specifically say that people are running in the Victim Olympics. And the reason that I say people are running in the Victim Olympics is because they choose to do the thing that they're going to do every single day and it's nobody else's fault. So if that be the case and you find yourself in a bad space, maybe you deserve it. Whatever that space is, perhaps you deserve to be there. If it's being poor, possibly you deserve to be poor. If it's being rich, possibly you deserve to be rich. Now, I am a person that does not believe uh, in the middle class anymore because I believe not necessarily that we don't need a middle class, but I think that the middle class is going away. I think that society um, is coming to a place where the middle class and people that live in the middle class, they are the ones that's going to pay the most taxes. They're the ones that's going to suffer the most um, as a result of uh, inflation. They're the ones that are going to pay the price for the egregious mistakes. And even when it comes to our legislative branches and the people that we vote for, you deserve them. They are a reflection of the people that voted for them or that didn't vote at all. Mm, that's an entirely different conversation, is it? They are the reflection of their people that they represent. And so if you didn't like them, but you didn't participate in the voting process, then you don't deserve to have the conversation with me as to whether or not they should be there because they represent the best interests of the people that they serve or not but because you didn't want to participate in the election process, you don't then get the opportunity to say whether they should or shouldn't be there because you didn't want to participate. You didn't want to do the thing that was going to be in your best interest. You didn't want to have that conversation. And so as a result, you take what you can get. You take what you can get. You deserve them. You deserve the person that represents you or you know the people that ultimately determine your fate when it comes to the laws and the things that happen in your community. Answer, this, answer me this question. Who's your representative? Who's who's the people that represent you in the, in the state legislature? Or let's just say the Congress, the Senate, the House of Representatives. Let's come all the way down to the Treasury. Do you know who, who you know, anybody outside of your mayor is? Do you know who your city council is? 
Do you know who your county commissioner is? Do you even know the person that oversees what happens at your community college? Do you know how much the millage is that you're paying in your property taxes in order to support that community college? Did you vote on that? Whatever it is that you get, you deserve, right? Because we want to take ownership and we want to say that we should be able to do what we want to do when we want to buzz down a chick or make the decision whether we can drink alcohol or smoke cigarettes or smoke trees. We're very fervent and we're very, very gung-ho when it comes to participating in that process and people should be able to do what they want to do okay well you should be able to also accept the consequences that come along with um the decisions that you make every day and so if you want to do what you want to do then you should also own the idea that whatever happens to you is your fault if you are poor and you are in your 20s or your 30s and i'm not talking about a college student because you're supposed to be poor the majority of y'all that's in college especially if you're doing it the right way and you're not trying to take on a whole bunch of debt you know what I'm saying? You can choose to go to community college. No, I had a dude that came on my, on my panel and told me that I was a sucker for going to community college, but I'm rich. What you talking about? And I'll be your sucker. I'm going to be your sucker. I'm cool with that. I'll own that. I'll own whatever comes along with, um, you know, going with, com going to community college, because guess what? I came through community college with no debt. You know what I'm saying? And I just dropped a video inside the Patreon Listen, the best day to join the Patreon is, is the beginning of the month. You have to join the Patreon if you have not. Um, you are you are truly missing out. I dropped a video on the Patreon today that gave you the literal blueprint for regular people to get rich based off of my own life experiences. And I detailed how I did it. I literally detailed how I did it. And then you're going to sit there and you're going to run into Victim Olympics and you're going to tell me about how you don't have access to A, B, and C when literally you'll go out there and pay 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 two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars for a pair of J's, but you won't even invest $15 to make sure that you get the best information to be able to level up and do the thing that's in your own best interest. You deserve whatever it is that you get. You deserve your situation. You deserve your circumstance. It's nobody's fault but yours. Own it. Say, I'm poor because of me. You want to know what I say? You want to know what the bag chaser say? I'm rich because of me. Take ownership and responsibility. Stop looking out the window. Start looking in that mirror and look at yourself and say, I have to hold myself accountable for the situation that I'm in. I have to hold myself accountable for the man that I picked. I have to hold myself accountable for the woman that I rock with. I have to ho hold myself accountable for having all of these kids that I knew I couldn't take care of. And now we all on welfare and we up here selling our EBT card in order to be able to pay for the food that we need to feed each other. It's not the government's responsibility to feed your ugly kids. It ain't my responsibility to pay more taxes to make sure that your ugly kids can eat. I had one child intentionally, almost didn't have one at all because I didn't want to bring them into this ugly world that is dying every single day. But I made sure that I only had one child because I wanted to pour every single resource into her right? I didn't get a STEMI check. I don't get student loan forgiveness because I made the right decisions. Listen, you can lean on the federal government if you want to. Keep waiting on them to take care of you and see how that play out. Look at our veterans. They don't even get the right benefits and the right coverage that they supposed to get from our federal government, right? It's broken. It's a broken system. And you sitting here telling me, sitting there telling me about how the government is supposed to be working on your behalf and you don't even understand how money works, we got the internet. The library was free when we was coming up and you sitting there having a conversation with me. Stop it, fam. We not the same. We not the same. And the reason that we not the same, is not that I'm better than you when it comes to being a human being, but I'm better than you when it comes to decision making and the things that's going to benefit me long term and benefit my community. I'm an asset to my community. You a liability. I'm an asset to my community community and you a liability. Get your life together. Start making better decisions and stop being a nuance or a nuisance to the people that, that you live around and start taking ownership and responsibility of yourself and your family. The first way that you can fix your community and your families is by first fixing you. First fix you, then come to the table. But we don't want to hear from people that don't, don't got themselves together because you're not even the right state of, state of mind or the right frame in order to even be able to make decisions. Everybody, I'm not even sure everybody should even be able to vote because they don't even know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if you need to kick it with me personally, email me at antondaniels413 at gmail.com. We're going to get you scheduled for a Zoom session. We're going to get you scheduled for a phone call. We're going to make sure that you're all good and you're taken care of. But the one thing is for certain and two things is for show. Sure, I'm never going to allow myself to ever run into Victim Olympics and blame somebody else for my problems. The minute that I took control of my life is the minute that my life changed. Facts. 
Tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Good luck.